Hello, okay, probably most of you are aware of this, but maybe some don't. Uh, in two weeks, there's gonna be an update, and this won't be possible. Fast traveling to a tent and having an animal uh, 100 meters away, and as you can see, he goes aggressive, and I can shoot him. Well, in the next update, uh, Jaxi Beard said that this was an unintended bug, which means the animals were supposed to spook uh, on a radius of 250 meters, sorry, I don't know, yards, when you first travel to a tent. So on Tuesday 15, on the live stream, he does every week, he said that they, this will change, meaning that uh, we're going to have to uh, set up our tents, tents sorry, as we used to do before, 250 meters away from the drinking or its sons or whatever. This here won't be happening anymore. Any animal that is in a radius of 250 meters when you first travel to a tent will spook immediately so no more tiger farming on the three legs or tar or whatever you are grinding you're gonna have to move your tents 250 meters away uh, there is a solution for that on playstation 5 uh, if you go to settings you can um, cancel automatic updates as well change uh, the rest mode so it doesn't update the game on rest mode uh, look for a video i got a pseudo melanistic here uh, look for a video on how to stop automatic updates on games on uh, playstation 5 i don't know if that is possible to do on xbox or pc but i do it all the time on my PlayStation 5. I actually have it manually, so the game doesn't update without my permission. I have to do it manually because for pri prior experience with other games that uh, Conan Exiles, for example, I got an albino here, but I forgot to taxi it and I claim another tiger after which means i lost it forever because if you claim another animal you cannot retrieve it on the trophy lodge uh, if you make this mistake forget to taxi and claim it uh, don't shoot anything else go to trophy lodge and then you can uh, taxi from there so uh, as i was saying if you are on playstation 5 it's very easy to stop automatic updates and you have to do it manually there's tons of videos on the internet explaining how to do that and as well don't go on rest mode otherwise it will update the game uh, so the main stuff is uh, there are only four changes for what Jaxi Beard said uh, there's gonna be only four changes on this update but this here is an unintended bug the animals were supposed to spook on a radius of 250 meters when you first traveled to a tent. Before this update, we had to uh, put the tents 250 meters away, as always, because animals would not render in a radius of 250 meters when you first traveled to an outpost or a tent. They wouldn't render in now they do render but uh, they were supposed to spook on 250 meters but they uh, this is unintended this here was were supposed to spook as soon as you first travel to the tent and already the distance of 250 meters all around the tent uh, radius I don't know how to say that in English excuse me as you can see I got a lot of uh, oh, diamonds uh, 
Sorry, I go about week. Uh, very bad week. Excuse me, please. So I got, I stop. Uh, uh, I got more than nine diamonds, but I stop uh, ah, recording that. So from now on, we're gonna have to move the tents 200 meters away from the lakes. So the farming for tigers farming for tars or whatever you are farming if you move your tents you're gonna have to move them away again like prior to this update like we used to do before 250 meters away from any drink zone or whatever and walk basically otherwise if you first trouble after updating the game this patch will be released approximately in two weeks jaxi said that on tuesday 15 of july so he said approximately two weeks for the patch to be released so if you can as i can do on playstation 5 don't update the game because the other changes are really non-important i'm gonna tell you what are the other changes first change obviously is the one i just explained the animals will book when you first travel to a tent to 250 meters sorry i don't know yards um then uh they fix the male albino tiger and the albino jackal not showing as albino on the uh, trophy lodge they will appear in the trophy lodge as albino for tiger and the jackal that will be fixed as well playstation players now can't uh, join multiplayer on uh, australia only playstation players and only on australia this will be fixed when the patch is released uh, more likely two weeks they are still testing it but he said more likely it will be happening in two weeks time so a spooking radius on tents 250 meters uh, the albinos will show us albinos on the trophy lodge the playstation players will be able to play multiplayer on emerald coast and then the other change is the syrian so those players uh, at the moment that don't have a zeroing any point and zeroing are failing their uh, shots because they uh, well they messed up and people without zeroing perk are failing their shots they're going low i think that's what he said i don't remember exactly so they had to uh, reset their perks or abilities i don't remember if you don't have zero in and put one point on zero in to be able to land the shots properly but that costs money to reset and it's a pain in the ass so that will be fixed with the next patch that as i said will be like two weeks from last tuesday 15th of july and then as well oh sorry uh, uh, uh oh the three missions in nepal the landmark missions which are basically running errands i don't give a damn sorry about those missions i like hunting missions i don't like running errands okay so i don't care about that they will be fixed you will be able to complete those three side missions but eh, who cares I, I don't care about that so if you can on playstation 5 i don't know about playstation 4 you can stop automatic updates and the game won't update if you don't give your permission you have to do it manually all right uh, so that 
is what I always do before updating any game. I go on the internet, I check everything is okay, and then I update. Because I got previous experience with other games, Conan and Exiles, Way of the Hunter, that they mess up the stuff. And then I don't update. Mm. The thing is, I don't play multiplayer. So I don't know how that will affect multiplayer. I have no idea if you can play multiplayer. If you don't update the game, I don't know. I don't go on multiplayer. Well, I do, but it's just to a glitch to duplicate tens and that. But whatever. I won't be updating the game because I can't do it on PlayStation 5. So I've been reading that you can do it on PC or on Steam or something like that, but it's quite complex. I don't know anything about PC. I, I never own a PC gaming pc so i have no clue but i've been reading that you can do it but it's a bit complex i don't know about xbox if you can do the uh, stop uh, automatic updates on xbox i don't know i only know that on playstation 5 is very easy to stop the game for updating uh, just make sure you don't put the game on rest the PlayStation rest mode or if you do when it's on rest mode disconnected from the internet you need to mess with the settings but it's really easy it takes one minute to do it and uh, yeah you just go to the game choose the game uh, call of the wild and turn off automatic updates and then you uh, you only update whenever you want manually okay so basically that's it uh, this will uh, sorry for those that can't stop automatic updates you're gonna have to move your tents to 150 meters away as we used to do before this uh, map was released in nepal we always had to put the tents um oh 250 meters away so the animals would render when you first travel to a tent now they do render but they will spook with the update okay this is the animals here being 100 meters away and not running away this is unintended okay so the three leg method will be uh well still we will be working we know there is a home range and all that but uh, it will take a lot of time because we have to walk 250 meters from tent to the lake then fast travel to the other tent 250 meters away from the lake walk again and all that so yeah basically if you can uh, stop the uh, automatic updates if you cannot I'm sorry you're gonna have to move your tents 250 meters away so the animal don't spook because anything, everything around um, 250 meters of uh, the tent will uh, spook. And that's basically it. I'm sorry I've not been making a lot of videos. There's a trailer for Way of the Hunter. If I got time, I would do that. But I've been having a bad week. Uh, happy hunting and health for everybody. Uh, take care of your loved ones. See you on the next one. Bye. Ciao, ciao.